Hey everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Glenn Tompkins, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest, and I love bringing these videos to your attention. So, we're all about clean energy, right? Well, we have a current administration that wants to move away from fossil fuels and move towards clean energy like solar and wind and EVs, all of that. So, this video is about uraniums already out there. I did a video on uranium not too long ago. Joey will put that up in there for you. And this is why I think that right now, uranium Uranium is the ultimate alternative solution. So with that being said, folks, I've got to lay out a good story for you. Now, these are going to be speculative stocks, but I think the news behind it could be really important to keep your eyes on. So uh, there's a lot of interest picking up in energy or in uranium. Energy fuel cells sells uh, $18.5 million worth of uranium to the U.S. government. So the government is, in, is very interested in it's looking at alternative energy, alternative clean energy. And uranium or nuclear is very clean energy. It can stand around for a long time, but the downside of it is the nuclear waste. I'm going to do a video about that again. Another company, UR Energy, announces an additional uranium sales agreement. Currently, they are uh, supporting or annual delivery of 300,000 pounds of uranium concentrates over the next five-year period uh, starting in 2024. The company noted that its total sales quantity is now under contract, under contract, 500,000 pounds of uranium beginning in 2024, plus, a, uh, plus or minus a small flex. Now, what's helping uranium? Well, Russia's war has stalled next-gen U.S. nuclear reactor backed by Bill Gates because it lost its sole supplier of uranium. Uh -huh, coming out of Russia. The problem is with a lot of our commodities, we depend on other countries and we need to change that. And I think that the first two stories are showing that we are trying to become less dependent on other countries for our uranium. But this, uh, this, uh, this reactor already backed by Bill Gates is having a problem because their sole source of uranium comes from Russia. How about another company, Uranium Royalty Company uh, Corporation, Uroy, sitting on the launch pad, waiting for long-term buyers to buy. Another stock that's in this space. Here's another company, Peninsula Energy wins a contract to supply uranium to the U.S. Department of Energy, um, and it's part of the country's $75 million uranium reserve established two years ago in 2020. So more and more companies are supplying uranium to the United United States, which is a great thing so that we can add to our nuclear reactors and nuclear power plants and build more. Talking about building more, India gives an update on its construction projects. It, it's got plans for 21 new reactors, including those that are currently under construction. So it's not just us, it's globally. More and more countries are looking to an alternative for clean energy and nuclear is already something that's there. We don't have to recreate the wheel. We just need to start to use it more, and uranium is going to play a big role in making that happen. Now, as we get into the software, though, I'm going to show you a watch list of stocks that I've got for you today. This watch list looks like this. I haven't shown you the stocks yet. Uh, this watch list looks like this. Over the last three months, you're probably saying, why are we talking about this? This whole watch list is going down. Ah, but I'm looking at it from a technical standpoint, remembering again that these are speculative plays. I'm looking at it from a technical standpoint, looking at st the stochastics oscillator below the value of 20, which means that these stocks are currently oversold, number one. Number two, if the interest is peaking into it, that gives it another opportunity to explode coming off of a possible level of a, of a floor. All right. So this is a news driven thing that I'm talking about right here. So what are the stocks? Let's go take a look at them. I've got seven stocks in this list for you and well actually six and one ETF you know me I like ETFs first one here though fission 3.0 ticker symbol FISOF sub penny stock it's a 19 cent stock with a value of six cents why did I pick this is because it's got a relative timing above one so this is a low dollar stock that is currently overvalued but it's in an uptrend right now that could be a possible stock to keep your eyes on. CCJ, why did I pick that? It is overvalued. It's got a relative value above one. Yes, it's a sell recommendation. But remember, these stocks as a whole are trending down, but are in the level of being oversold. Here 
is my uh, ETFU URA. And I thought I saw a story, couldn't find it, uh, talking about Fission. Fission's the new guy on the block right now. Folks, that's going to take at least 10 years or so before it becomes into fruition. But I, I think that this company is buying more into those companies in the Fission space. Let me confirm that before I, uh, you know, really, really put that out there. URG was in one of the stories, right? Trading at a dollar fourteen with a value of uh, twenty six cents. Why did I like this one overall? Because it was a story. This was they're going to supply the United States. UUU. Why did I pick this one? Uh, because it's one of the stories as well. Noticed again, no fundamental analysis behind these. LEU. Why did I pick this? Because it's got a relative value of one point two seven in this space. It's got the best upside potential. And Uroy was in the story as well. Notice that the stocks that are in the stories were either a hold or sell recommendations, but with that hold indicator looking at um, the stochastics, these stocks are poised to start to move. All right, so speculative space, uh, a lot of energy coming into it, a lot of talk, chatter, people supplying the United States with uranium, and this could be a launching pad for these stocks to go up. They are speculative. So this is really based off of the news. And if the interest is out there, hopefully the interest is enough to move these stocks to a higher level. Folks, if you like the content, don't forget to hit the like button. Stay on our channel. We've got a lot of information, a lot of great videos for you to take to pay attention to. Share this channel with people on your social circles so that they can see what we're doing here at VectorVest. Don't forget to hit the like button. With that, folks, this video is over. And until the next time, see ya. Hey, VV Nation, Glenn Tompkins here from VectorVest. And guess what? We're going to Tampa. That's right, January 6th through the 7th um, of 2023. Absolutely, we're gonna be there live and we want you there too. So what's gonna happen? You're gonna get an opportunity to meet and interact with VectorVest instructors. You're gonna receive a physical copy of the course workbook right then and there. You're gonna enjoy a continental breakfast each and every day and have a served lunch as well. We're gonna have a little bit of fun and we're gonna have a cocktail party reception on Friday, you're going to receive access to the full recording of the event. Folks, you need to go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash Tampa to go there live. And then if you want the live stream, which is free, you go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash stream. Folks, we want to see you there and it's going to be a great time, but this we get to meet in person. So you don't want to miss out because the price is going to go up quick. So you want to take advantage of it as soon as you can. See you there.